The organizations should create a selection process in support of its job requirements resulted from job analysis. The job analysis already identifies the KSACs required in order to get the best employee in order to fit the job and fit the organization. The function of personnel selection is so important to the organization as, as it helps the organization to achieve the best performance standards and saves the cost in terms of the cost of hiring improper employees of being not productive um, not productive in the in their jobs and the time spent of the selection process in the selection process also the personal selection is important because of achieving two main aspects person job fit and person organization fit person job fit focuses on fitting the person's abilities sk abilities skills and competences with the requirements of the job and person organization fit focuses on the compatibility and matching between the pe people and the organization in terms of values needs and interests one of the main selection stages that that the organization cannot neglect is realistic job review is to provide the potential employees with an accurate introduction about the job and its circumstances, its schedule, its extreme conditions in order to uh, enable the employees or the, or the potential employees to make self-filtration before getting the job offer. Organizations use application forms in order to collect quickly verifiable and fair information about the history of the job candidate. It includes contact information, work experience, educational background, technical experience, and others. Most organization starts with cognitive tests that measure the intellectual abilities of the applicants. and may include uh, some types of tests like IQ, uh, memory uh, testing, verbal fluency, numerical abilities. Other type of selection tests like motor abilities tests that it may include the testing finger dexterity, manual dexterity and reaction time. This type of test is required by some jobs in some organization but not necessary in all organizations. Then come to interest inventories. Testing. This type of test enables the organization to compare one's interests with those people in various occupations. And then the achievement test in order to measure what the candidates has, have already learned in their past experience. When we come to the personality test, we have two types of tests. Projective tests and self-reported tests. The projective tests are done by the psychologists who rep uh, represent or who present an ambiguous stimulus and ask the person to explain and react to the situation or this vague uh, picture or ink plot. Other personality tests are self-reported that l looks like statements and the uh, candidate or the applicant has to sign from 1 to 5 according to Likert scale, for example, how this statement is applicable for him. But here we have to care about the self-reported test design and its reliability and validity. This is one model of the personality, which is big 5 personality characteristics. It focuses on five main characteristics conscientiousness, openness to experience, emotional stability or neuroticism, extroversion, and agreeableness. Work samples and simulation tests may include situational and behavioral tests, which may require the examinee or the, trainee, the applicants 
to respond to certain situations found on the job and the basic procedure with work sampling in order to perform tasks like they will have in the in their jobs and a management assessment center which may uh, focus on the management and skills and managerial leadership skills required in order to get more uh, higher positions in the structure and to measure the leadership potential in the candidate. Some organizations also use polygraph or lie detectors for honesty testing. Others may depend on and, um, and use, uh, not depend, a graphology uh, testing that is the handwriting analysis to get more insights about the basic personality traits and the medical examination is required by most of the organizations in order to uh, test if the applicant's health meets the job's physical requirements and maybe to ensure um, it, uh, uh, there is no medical limitation for the in medical insurance available in order to predict the percentages or uh, the probability of absenteeism and accidents. The interview is another way of selecting uh, candidates. The purpose of the interview is that it, it provides two way of exchange of information. It enables the HR and the interviewer to sell the organization, to sell the position to the candidates and to meet personally the candidates in order to be able to evaluate him or her um, in more effective way. When we talk about the selection interviews, we have many dimensions to talk about and many aspects. First of all, the interview structure, the interview content, the questions, the type of questions included, and the interview way of administration. We have first two types of interviews, unstructured interviews and structured interviews. For unstructured interviews, it looks like a general conversation and with no set format. But the structured interview or directive interview, it includes set of questions, set of possible answers, and wait for each answer in order to ensure the um, fair treatment for all the candidates. And you have to follow this structured interview in your interviews with all the candidates available. Regarding the content of the questions, we have situational questions, behavioral questions, job-related questions and stress interview. The situational interview, the candidates, you, uh, the interviewer ask uh, the candidates or the interviewee about what would be his behavior in a given situation. Here, the, interview, the interviewer gives the situation to the interviewee. But in the behavioral interviews, you, you as an interviewer ask applicants to describe how they reacted in actual situation in the past according to their experience. Related to job related interview questions, you ask the candidates or applicants about relevant past experience related to the job performance and finally in the stress interview you intentionally ask the applicants uncomfortable situations uh, sorry, uncomfortable questions and rude questions in order to measure his emotional stability and stress tolerance. When we come to the number of interviewers versus the number of interviewees, we have one to one, one interviewer to one interviewee, panel of interviewers to one interviewee, sequentially or all at once at the same time, and computerized interview, personally interview, and may mass interview, these all are some of the kinds of interviews. When we talk about the main selection interview errors that can undermine the effectiveness of the interview, we talk about stereotyping, that is to relate or attribute certain characteristics to particular groups of people. Then we may talk about hollow effect, the tendency uh, to um, get general conclusion about all the characteristics of the individual by one, by your judgment about one characteristic. 
also there is a mistake which is first impression mistake that you jump to conclusion from the first few minutes or the first question you ask the interviewee there is another error which is called projection that the uh, interviewers should be trained enough in order to avoid this error this error talks about the tendency to attribute to attribute one's own motives feelings or values to others another error is the contrast error that the effect of the interviewee order and you fall down in the comparison error then the interviewers also may have not and uh, may have uh, may not have an accurate picture about the job and the interviewers may make many mistakes like pre-interview impressions act as psychologists which is not true in all cases or in some cases improper asking improper questions when we come to the number of interviewers versus the number of interviewees we have one to one one interviewer to one interviewee panel of interviewers to one interviewee sequentially or all at once at the same time and computerized interview personally interview and may mass interview these all are establish a rapport as setting the candidate uh, the candidates at ease and start to talk talk with them in a friendly relaxed way uh, not to talk about uh, debatable issues let the candidate know uh, know, the, uh, know about uh, the time frame of the interview and know about the uh, provide him with information to let him know about the job and the job description the mission of the company then to start to ask the questions you already prepared uh, whether situational behavioral job related or whatever the interviewees answer the questions you have to take brief and obvious notes in order to avoid the contrast error and many errors and recalling errors in order to complete the interview in an effective way you have to take unobvious notes in order to reach a proper decision and then closing the interview with leaving time to answer any questions of the candidates thank the applicants for being interested in your organization uh, communicate any next steps uh, the applicants will go for using all information in order to complete any negotiations and take a decision. The organization usually review the background for the uh, and the history for the candidates in order to check uh, his information and un uncover damaging information this enables the company to co uh, protect the uh, performance of the candidates by contacting current or former employers ask about his previous performance ask his supervisors in order to get enough information about this candidate Organizations also may use social networks and ask for bank statements besides the official po police records investigations in order to check the history of the candidate. Thank you.